Hi, Tom Post. Hey, Don. How are you doing, man? Great, brother. Hey, I've got a question for you today. Shoot. What has Jesus done for you in regards to your grandmother? Wow. Well, my grandmother, of course, she's passed away many years ago. My grandmother from Minneapolis, Minnesota. She was a devout Lutheran. And she went to the Central Lutheran Church in downtown Minneapolis. And I guess we learned from her that church was an important thing. It wasn't really about church, but it was really going about learning about the Word of God and getting the Gospel and getting that inside you. And I think that that's what my grandmother did. Taught us a lot about faith and about religion. I don't want to say religion, but it taught us about Jesus and taught us about God and trying to get us to be better human beings. Cool, cool. Well, um, let me ask you one more question then. That was last week's theme, okay? Okay. But this week's theme is what has Jesus done for you in regards to your pastor or church? Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. I've, uh, I, go, I go to a new church now. I've been going for about a year and a half. And I'll tell you what. Whenever I go to church, it's like whatever the word is, the gospel is of the day that our pastor is speaking to the congregation of, it's like he's speaking to me directly. Amen. And I, I come out of there thinking, how did he know about my life? But, but, <laughs> but, but it's, 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 I figured it out. It's Jesus working through my pastor. Exactly. To get the word to me and to others. And I leave there, a changed human being, praying, asking for forgiveness, and trying to get back on track. Because you know, as we are, we're all sinners, by, but saved by grace. So that's what I get in the church. I get the word. It gets in me. And it anoints me, and I go forward from there and try to share with others. What, what do you try to share, Tom? Well, share the gospel. I, I try to share things that I've learned through going through with my church, doing things, just personal things I've had with Jesus, and I try to uh, relay that to other, other friends who maybe are uh, riding, riding the fence, and I'm not sure if they're Christians or not Christians, but I, I try to share them uh, my experiences and my testimonies. and. Uh, the other day at the gym, I'll tell you what, I've, there's some things going on with uh, some of my younger friends there. They're like in their 20s. There's like two or three of them. And they said they want to go to church with me. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So uh, we're, we're going to arrange that and uh, sooner rather than later. <laughs> nice. Tom, thanks. Uh, bless you too, brother. And you're a blessing to me. You're a blessing to... I know you're a blessing to God even because you just gave him... I saw you just point to him, so... Yeah, amen. Y yeah, amen. And um, I look forward to more of your testimonies. Tom, I know you're going to be a member of One one day, and that means that... Anyway, that... It's, it's Jesus' dream that we'd be one, and you and I have been one over, what, a hundred times? A hundred and two times. <laughs> <laughs> At least. I, it's so true, folks. <laughs> So, anyway, Tom's a bodybuilder, and he's doing fantastic. Tell us a little bit about your bodybuilding, Tom. Oh, my God. I'm 61 <laughs> years old. Wait, hold on. Let's get, let's get that in the lighting. I'm 61. I just turned 61 about three weeks ago, and uh, two years, two and a half years ago, I weighed uh, 300 pounds. I, was, I had a 44-inch waist, and I was basically a heart attack waiting to happen, and it took a good friend of mine to have a stroke for me to realize that was too close to home so I started changing my lifestyle and through God uh, I, I believed at first that I, that I could never do this and I just prayed and prayed and prayed and I got the word that uh, I can do this thing I can lose this weight and I worked hard I changed my life I changed my food habits eating habits and then I just somebody challenged me to get into bodybuilding and uh, I've done seven shows so far and I got wow! I've got trophies from six, and I've got a couple of first first places. So, but there's a lot of a lot of guys that have done it too. But anyway, I I, I, I thank God for getting me back into a fit condition, and it only goes to show, you're never too old, it's never too late, and age is only a number. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>